Hello and welcome back to Just Lucky. Today we are playing more Satisfactory. And uh, I think you already knew that because you clicked on this video. We're just waking up. I'm trying to figure out what to do today. I think what we want to do first is check out our awesome sink that we built last video and see. Oh, oh, see how that's. Okay, that's not how you use the ladder, <laughs> but it's okay. I wonder, uh, I want to know how it's going. I left it on for like 30 minutes last night after I was done recording, so maybe not 30 minutes. It was just like a little bit of time. Maybe we'll have a few tickets or something though. We'll have, we have five. So now I have six tickets. We'll just uh, we'll just store them though for now. We're not gonna use them. We gotta keep them. I think today what we want to do is start working on producing more things and unlocking more tiers of stuff probably. So we can finish this tier one thing. Three hundred screws. We can finish this this one right now. 300 screws, 300 wire. We already have 100 plates. So let's just make a bunch of screws really fast. We don't have any machines making screws yet, so we'll just make them by hand. 300 is kind of a lot to make by hand. But at the same time, I kind of feel the opposite. Making four at a time is just really not that bad. We're almost halfway done now already. Hopefully we have enough materials. To get to 300. But yeah, for sure we want to unlock some stuff. Explore some new stuff that we haven't seen yet. Um, maybe start production on like more complicated things. I know with the space elevator, we have to figure out how to craft um, something we can't even make yet. I think. I think we need like a new machine or something for it. But we'll get there. Okay, so we should have enough of this. We can just go grab uh, copper wire from here. Is that an oven? Anyways, um, so we can go ahead and complete this one now. Field research, we'll unlock the MAM, whatever that is. Object scanner, beacon, personal storage box. Hand slot, which will be interesting, I think, an inventory slot, which just sound really good. Let's just fill these in really quick. Milestone reach. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow MAM to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. So we'll probably want to build that to first. A greater chance oh. of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. So we need to build the MAM. So for that we need five reinforced plates. So we're going to have to make more screws. Shouldn't be that bad. It did say five, right? Sorry if you heard that. No, I, I was drinking water and uh, it was pretty loud. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I think we need some cable too. We'll just make a bunch really fast. I'm not sure how many we needed. Never heard to have extra though. So let's go ahead and build our MAM and see what that's about. Uh, is this backward? Oh yeah, it was. Does it need power? Oh, it looks like we don't need power. Let's see what this is though. Nutrients, power slugs? Rewards power shard. But we do have this already, so we can research it.
the analysis of green power slugs is completed. New recipe unlocked. Overclock New production. Available in the MAM. We'd actually go grab this stuff. I guess overclocking is what you use slugs for? I guess? Okay, what else can we get? Nutrients. Uh, I don't know what these are for. A bacon agaric. Flower petals. Wait, this doesn't tell you what it does. Right? Oh, we do have those, so we can go ahead and do that really fast. Oh, but now we can get the color gun and the color cartridges. Wait, that's really good. Uh, what are these? Okay, so I guess we do the research. Okay, wait, let's let's do as many of these as we can right now with the stuff we have. Um, we have another power slug that we really use. The berries, the nuts. Let's see what we can do. I mean, we might as well, right? If they're like achievements, we're gonna have to do them eventually, anyways. And if it only takes three seconds and we have the stuff already, like, why not? Biomass. I mean, we don't need biomass. We need ten of those meat things, though, or whatever they're called. Carapace. And we don't have alien organs. We did have these. New object added to the object scanner. Interesting. And we had this done. Or we can get this done. Uh, well, we can't make those things yet. We do this power slug thing. I kind of want to. Let's go get more. Uh, stuff really quick. We need plates and rods, which we're going to just go pick up from over here. And we have the power slug in our inventory. But that takes five minutes, so we have to come back to this. Okay, so what were we doing? What else did we unlock just now? Can we look, go back and look? Um, it was tier one field research. We got the object scanner, the beacon. Used to mark areas of interest and display your compass. Oh, the display on your compass with a color and a name. That's really good. Okay, so... I'm guessing we make the object scanner here. Oh, and the beacon. Reinforced plates and a beacon. And so we need four reinforced plates. We're going to need more screws. Just enough to make four reinforced plates. And do we, do we need more screws after that or no? I can't remember. I think it's worth just like making stuff for the first time, kind of just learning what the game has to offer and like just getting more and more tools is probably always worth it. Oh, we need, we need uh, 46 more screws. So it should just take a second. There we go. We have plenty now. All right, we have an object scanner. Also, let's put some of the other stuff away. Like this, this, this stuff. Wait, I wonder if, if uh, in like every video so far, wait, we can keep like some of this stuff. 
all of my recent videos, I keep talking about how the miners, I mean, not the miners, the smelters are kind of slow. If we can overclock stuff in a few minutes, that'd be crazy if we could overclock the the miners, and then instead of having more, they're just faster. That'd be pretty cool. So let's try and use our object scanner and see what that is. We can search for berries and nuts so far. All right. So it just kind of like points you in the right direction, I guess. Wait, how do I rescan? Oh. Will there be nuts over here? Oh, no. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be helpful. Hopefully we can find other more useful things possibly in the future. But we do got to eat. Um, we'll keep it in our inventory, but uh, how much longer does this have? A minute 20. Okay, and I think that was basically everything other than just the beacon. We don't we don't have a reason to use a beacon yet. Part assembly. I do know we need this. We need smart plating for the uh, space elevator. So I think part assembly would be really good. The assembler. So this gives us like the next tier of parts, I guess. So we should be working on this for sure, a hundred percent. 200 cables, 200 rods, 500 screws. We're going to need, um, how do we make screws? Do we make screws out of rods? Okay. So I think what we want to do here is actually have something over here making screws. So we should have a... Production? Constructor. Oh, we don't have reinforced plates. Hmm. I guess we have to make some by hand. I mean, we could just make all of that stuff by hand, but it takes a long time. Are we out of power? Uh oh. Dude, I cannot wait to get more different power. Also, how's this going? Nice, we're almost at another ticket. And by almost, I mean not really. But it's progress. Uh, What were we doing just now? Oh wait, this is probably done. Player upgraded. What does that mean we can overclock now? What does that mean? It does. Wait. Wait, it said there was a reward for it. Didn't, didn't it say that? Oh, this one had it. I, I think you need power shards to get the, uh, to be able to overclock stuff. Hold on, let's go look at the miners, or the smelters over here. Just for, uh, 
just out of curiosity. Are these overclockable? Yeah, it has things down here. Standard recipe. Wait, we can just make them. It seems like. I think we had one more uh, power slug, so we can see if we can make one. Oh, we can. Okay, so what we're going to do... I know I'm kind of all over the place like crazy is we are going to gonna we're gonna make a, a place that is gonna make uh, oh wait we're gonna have it over here this is a splitter right so we could just have um Okay, we can't have a splitter here. We could have a splitter like here somewhere and then have another constructor turning them into just screws, I guess. No, but wait, that doesn't work because we need rot. Okay, uh, can I undo? I kind of trolled myself on accident. I have to have the constructor over here because I need iron rods. So we need plates, reinforced plates. So I have to make some more screws really fast. Sorry about being all over the place. Again, I'm still at the beginning of my playthrough of this game. So like, uh, I'm still learning everything. There's a lot of running back and forth for things that I didn't know we needed yet. And then we're going to need more cable. Thank you. Um. So we can put a constructor like right here maybe. And then we can put Oh no. Well this is not what we want at all. Ooh, we're out of cement. Okay. We have to go grab that. Okay, so we need we need this. And we need this to make screws. Forty per minute. Or you can underclock them too. That's really interesting. For now we're just gonna max it out for a short amount of time. And then we're gonna need power. And that was a mistake. Also, um we're gonna not overclock this. <laughs> Cause we'll probably use more power. So let's go fix our power. 
which is one of these. Oh, I know what we can do. We can borrow some power from this one. No copper. Give me these copper wires. So we'll put uh, this like over here. And then we'll take power from here and just put it there the fuse broke how there's only two things on it oh my gosh okay what if we what if we have this producing like barely any Like 50%. Will that change anything? Maybe this thing just eats like tons of power. What? Okay. You know what? We're gonna have to turn this off. Because we need to make screws. We'll repower this soon. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put a storage thing. The end over here. Just so we can store all the screws and be able to grab them easily. So these are all four, right? Oh wait, these are all one screw each. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we have screws being made. Um... We need 200 iron rods for sure, so we'll grab those to make sure they don't get turned into anything. Oh wait, no wait, these are all safe. These are all new rods, so we're fine. And then we need 200 cable. We'll make that by hand. It doesn't take very long to make that. We'll just yoink a bunch. Uh, 200? Easy. And then we already have enough plates as well. I'm thinking if we focus on this and then we get the, uh, assembler, I think that's what it's called from completing this, uh, the milestone, then we can make the, the part that we need for the... We're going to need more copper wire. We can make the part that we need. I think we need 50 of them. For the space elevator. We can go check really quick. Let's go check. I don't know why we put it so far away. I guess because it's massive. But Yeah, we need 50. But I think it says that it unlocks tier 3 and tier 4. Right? So I think if we can get that made, we will be able to maybe get a different power source and then we can get rid of our biomass things and have something more like uh, self-sustained. And I think that would be really solid for us. So let's go make more wire. We need 200. I mean cable. We need more wire because we need 200 cable. I think maybe I didn't say that correctly at first. And then we can go grab more plates. 
because we don't quite have enough plates on us. We need 110 more. Make some extra cable because I know we'll use it. And then I guess after that we just have to make a bunch of screws. We can go see how many are made so far over here. There might be a lot. 100, 108? That's not bad. And we also need more plates. Do we have enough plates on us? Yeah, now we do. Okay, let's go make a bunch of screws. We'll also just put stuff here to help show progress. There we go. So yeah, we just need 361 screws, which we can definitely craft here, but it's gonna take a little while. So I'm glad that we actually made something that will also make screws on its own. I guess eventually we want to be able to manu like mass manufacture every kind of part. I think that's probably what we want to go for. Eventually. Have like a whole factory for everything. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, we're actually crafting these pretty fast. We're almost out of runs though, and then we'll go ahead and put all the screws that we do have currently in the milestone thing. And see how many we've produced uh, from the, what's it called? Constructor? Yeah, that's what it's called. We might already have enough by the time we're done with this. Because we need 361. And... I don't know, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, we'll have enough. Which is good, because then we don't have to run across everything. Just to get, like, a few screws. There we go. Wow, we're, we're accomplishing a lot. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Oh, so we have to use machines. Okay. Ooh, we need eight plates. Wait, what is this? A rotor. Can we make rotors by hand? Um... Oh yeah, we can. Just a lot more screws, I guess, is what we need. Wait, how many rotors do we need for an assembler? Four. Which is kind of weird, because we need tons of screws and tons of... I don't know, just so many things. So we'll build an assembler first. And then get everything figured out after that. No, wait, not that, this. I feel like our uh, biomass generators are gonna run out of fuel soon. Which is a bit unlucky. So we need four rotors, which we have to make by hand, and eight reinforced plates. Wait, we, already, we can already make this. We can make eight. If for anyone who's watching, uh, this is their first video watching my playthrough. We don't have anything set up to make these on their own, so we're just making them by hand. Oh, and four. Wait, we can make the perfect amount. How nice is that? Okay. So we are going to go ahead and put the assembler way over here but it's very large oh we 
have two things feed into it. I see, I see. We don't have cable. Okay, well, let's figure out what we need, and we can... We need smart plating. Reinforced iron plates and rotors. Oh, no. So we can make those all by hand, but 50 is a lot. So we should figure out how to make reinforced... Um, okay, we're going to have to figure some stuff out. I think, so we want to redo everything around us to only have, to only make this right now, I think, because we're still pretty limited on power. So we're going to have to set up an, like an assembly line for rotors and an assembly line for, uh, line for iron plates, which shouldn't be that hard. I mean, reinforced plates. But first, let's get a, let's get some cables. So we don't forget to do that, and then we'll uh, then we'll work on it. Okay, so reinforced iron plates. We need screws and plates. So this is screws. Wait, I just thought about it. We're going to need more assemblers. We need assemblers to be able to make uh, all of these things by hand. Because constructors can't make reinforced plates. So we would need three of these. One to make uh, rotors, one to make reinforced plates, and one to make the actual things that we need. Smart plates. So we're going to need 8 more rotors and 16 reinforced plates. And that guy always freaks me out, but I don't want to get rid of him. And I don't even think I can. I tried before. Okay. So let's make some reinforced plates. So we need... How many reinforced plates do we need? 16? Yeah, and 8 rotors. 16 and 8 rotors. Oops, that was an accident. What do we need to make rotors again? Frick, I can't remember. Okay, let's go see if we can make 16 um, plates and then we'll worry about rotors after. Fourteen. What do we need more of? Screws. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we can make a lot of screws. We don't need that many, though. Okay, 16 iron plates. This is good, though, because then once we make this, then we can have, like, an unlimited amount of these anyways. I think our, uh, our land is going to get really, like, messy for a while, but we'll probably spend, like, an entire video, like, cleaning everything up eventually. But I think getting better power is more important right now. Did we make 16? Yeah, we did. And then we need 8 rotors, so we're just going to need more screws. We'll just make screws until we can make 8 rotors. 2? It's a lot of screws per each one needs 25. Holy moly. So 25 times 8. We're going to need like 400 screws. No, 200. I'm trolling. We need 200 screws. And we're at 160. We only need about 20 more. Voila. I know we have to grab eight rotors. Yeah, it's definitely going to get, like, messy around our area. For a little bit. 
And then we're gonna have to like redistribute power and stuff. So this one. Okay. Hmm. So for now, we're gonna put the assemblers over here. So we're gonna put one right here. Oh, cables, we don't have cables. I feel like this game is going to get real complicated real fast. Okay. Assembler. Here. And then we'll put this next assembler in front of these two, and then those will just feed it into this one. Hey, look, it's our friend. We have two friends, that guy and our tall, creepy friend. Okay, so this can go in here, and this can go in here. And then, okay, so this one's going to be reinforced plates. So we need iron plates and screws to go in here. This should just be iron plates at this point. Yes. Can we just drag these through each other? Okay, that looks awful, but you know what? If it works, it's fine. Okay. This is a reinforced plates one, right? We need power to this. Five per minute. Okay. So this one needs to be rotors. And for rotors, we need screws and iron rods. Which is interesting. So we're actually going to need a splitter here. Logistics splitter. So our production is going to be split a lot. So these are probably going to be made very, very slowly. Because these are very slow. Um, so we need a splitter here. Uh-oh. And then we need it to go, this is iron rods, which just need to go over here. We can worry about how ugly this is later. Like I said, right now we're just trying to upgrade our power. We do have the overclocking thing, and I think we do want to use it over here. Because we're going to need a lot more of these. Wait, this has no power. Wait, our generators ran out. Okay, we got to go we'll get more biomass. We're just fine. It just makes me want to get to more power faster. 
usually to get biomass I just run over here on this hill and pick up a ton of like plants and stuff. But there doesn't seem like there is any, so that's very odd. Oh, there's some. 15 leaves is not going to cut it, though. Oh, that kind of scared me, to be honest. Oh, we have limestone. Okay, but I don't need limestone. I just need plants. Thank you. Oh, that's new. Is it a bird? Hopefully this isn't too boring for you. It's just something we gotta do, you know? It's unavoidable for now. Until we get better at power. Which is our goal. ASAP. I know there's like... Uh, I've, from what I've seen on Reddit, there's, like, at least a few different tiers of power stuff. And, uh, they, I mean, there's, like, different kinds of power, too. So, I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Where are these plants? Oh, here's a ton. Okay, I wonder if we have enough. You know what this game does remind me of a little bit? It kind of reminds me of like Space Engineers, but I feel like this game, I didn't play Space Engineers that much. I feel like this game is kind of better. But also they're kind of not the same kind of game, if I remember right. It doesn't matter though. Okay. Let's go make biomass, fuel of our generators, so we can be happy about that. We can make about 500. Almost. We have five generators, so that works out. Also, I wonder... I don't know why I stopped making that. That was kind of weird. I wonder if... Um, like, if... Like, our uh, smelters in our iron factory room area are, like, really backed up. I wonder if that makes it so that, like, if they're, like, not producing stuff do they not use power how's this one doing 10 per minute so that'll only last 10 minutes for it Okie dokie. Um. Oh, I see. Um, is it F? Yeah. Please work. 
Oh wait, this doesn't have anything smart plating. Um, do these need to be swapped? Also, are these not being made? Oh no. This is a little bit frustrating to be honest. We might have to just make another biomass thing. I don't know which one to shut off just now, though. Was it this one? I guess we have to collect more leaves and stuff. Hello, lizard guy. I think it's a lizard. I know there's also like a, I think we can get like a chainsaw. I saw it in the tier two thing, I think. So we could unlock it probably anytime we wanted to. But you get like a chainsaw and I, I bet you could get a lot more leaves and wood that way. Then I wouldn't have to be collecting it forever. Every time I need some. But I guess it's not that bad for now. Okay, we got a ton now. Again. Well, let's head on back. Oh, we're gonna make biomass. Um. Oh yeah, we can make a ton. Making out of wood is, seems more efficient. I think maybe. But I guess we get a lot less wood. What if we had the chainsaw? Would it be like that? That's the question. Alright. We can... We're gonna need to make, like, storage boxes or something. Oh, it's working. Oh, it wasn't going in because it didn't have power. Okay, we have one rotor. We need one rotor and one reinforced plate. And then we're going to need 50 of these. Which is probably going to take a while, but we have a system. And that counts for something. To be honest, I think that's a good uh, good way to wrap up this video, being able to have a system in place. So the next video, we can complete the, the uh, what's it called? The space elevator milestone and um, get have 50 smart plating to unlock tier three and four and hopefully put us on track to get better power because that would be amazing. So thank you so much for watching. We have one. We have one so far. Thank you so much for watching. 
if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing i'm uploading this daily and some probably even more than that to be honest i'm really excited about playing this um i've been uploading it daily but maybe i'll upload two maybe three times in one day who knows uh yeah anyways thank you so much uh have a fantastic rest of your day